Yeah. So, like Future said in the streets, he's bigger than Hove. Yeah, he is. He feels that. Way bigger. Like, there's consistent music from him that didn't chart, that is a huge record, that people, like, love and appreciate that. And then later, he may not have the same things to hold on to that you have at points. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in, and we got 50 Cent with MSNBC when they asked 50 about an old tweet that Feature put out back in, what was it, 2021 in December, saying he was bigger in the streets than Jay-Z. I gotta agree, anybody that knows me knows that Jay-Z's in my top five, obviously, if not number one, number two, something like that. So obviously there's no bias towards him, but come on, yo. Jay came out, what, mid 90s, reasonable doubt. Future came out, what, 2010, racks on racks on racks. Think about it, right? If you if, if Jay was hot in 95, right? 05, that's 10 years. 2010, that's 15 years. Like, how long do y'all expect Jay-Z to be the hottest thing in the streets? Nah, it's not his time no more. You know, the old heads always gonna say that Jordan's the greatest. You know, LeBron's in town now, not taking nothing away from Jordan, nor am I comparing uh, future to LeBron, not whatsoever. But currently in the streets, if you were to ride down Atlanta, if you were to ride down Columbus, Cincinnati, LA, New York, whatever the case may be, you're probably gonna hear more future bumping out a car than you're gonna hear of Hove. I'm just being realistic here. And I think even Jay would say it. But overall, who's a bigger artist? Come on, man. We all know that Jay-Z's 10 times bigger than future. I almost wanna say bigger than future ever be, but I don't wanna be a hater like that. But you know, come on, man. Ain't nobody saying that Jay or future is bigger than Jay. We're just saying in the streets, you're talking about who the young boys is listening to right now because that's what primary the streets is made of. It ain't about, about to be a bunch of, you know, 50, 60-year-olds, 40-year-olds. It's the young boys. It's going to be the 20, 30-year-olds, you know what I'm saying, that's out here getting it. So, yeah, future is bigger than Jay. That's just my humble opinion, honest opinion. I really don't think it's a big, big deal. Anybody knows, 50 knows that him and Jay has always been on and off as far as their relationship. So I'm not too surprised that he would even speak on something like this in 2023. But anyway, if you like the video, let me know in the comments. If you agree, disagree, whatever the case may be. If you don't, hey, it is what it is.